Sam runs down the street shouting, they took my bag. What am I supposed to use to sleep on tonight? You know, it's the blue and I always drag. The people in the encampment had never seen him a fright, but the councilmen were cracking down on everyone's tents. Somewhere they'd heard of the law of matches and kerosene. They wanted to drive them out in order to raise the rents. As long as they aren't our problem, we can be mean. Have you ever used a pillow of pavement and cardboard? The business ladies are mad you're blocking the door, and you're too busy telling them this is the best you can afford. The security man asks, why can't you work in a store? And if you study for many years, you can learn to earn. This is what I end up doing, not to brag. But until things get better for you, don't return. Sam stands in silence, because they'd stolen his bag. Dick took a wrong turn and walked the alley. It was full of characters staring at their syringes, desperate to find something to be their grand finale. They approached him from multiple sides like ninjas. They told him, hey, you've got something we need. Jake tells him, I'm only carrying two gallons of milk. And it's for my grandmother, and wants to satisfy your greed, because he thought he could spin a lie to their ilk. But they'd been spun tall tales their whole existence, so they kindly removed Jake of his unnecessary possessions, and he knew better than to give any resistance. But when they left, he was without his projects and possessions. He could only sit on the floor and let out his tears, angry, frustrated, wondering why he'd grabbed the tag. When a bystander passed by and offered to cheers, Jake could only respond, it's stolen his bag. The runner's head turns in every possible direction. There is so much to dodge and no narrow paths. You must do everything possible to avoid detection. Others aren't so careful and end up in bloodbaths. The one on the beat makes him avoid the corner. Well, and never blend in with the ones taking photos. Everywhere he feels like a foreigner. Surely they'd notice how he keeps scratching his nose. He remembers what his supervisor told him. If you don't succeed, it's a matter of life and death. He didn't have to put it quite so grim. And he didn't need to waste his breath. The runner craned his neck up at the scrapers. And realized something didn't make a man gag. Because when he was looking for his papers, he had now realized someone had stolen his bag. The panhandler's face had begun to peel. The time the sun was taking his toll, someone had given them his leftover meal, despite the inability to communicate his soul. When he took a seat at the nearest bench, one that could have been his bed except, the councilman put up a divider as a winch, because they started caring where everyone slept. Blue and Reds pull over to the panhandler's seat and asked him how he had acquired all his things. Did he have all the items purchased on a sheet? Don't you know everything comes with attached strings? If the dogs get spooked, well, that's a cause. And we no longer have to worry about your flag. And what are you going to do? You don't know the laws. And by the end of the conversation, it's stolen his bag. <laughs>